This is what we've been working on in the workshop. Jeremy has, what do you call it? Disassembled and reassembled, glued, and yeah. clamped back up for 100 years old. Yeah, this table, so how old? 100 years old. 100 years old. And then now he's getting ready to, um, he built this swing, isn't that beautiful? But it's gonna be spray painted black. Yep. So we're gonna get ready to hang this today for another customer. And then we're also still working on this furniture that was in the barn. He's Which been sanding it. 60 or 70 years old. So probably 60 to 70 years old. So it's gonna be beautiful. Jeremy's workshop. No, Weems workshop. Uh, Weems workshop. Yeah. addition to the family. Say hello! Say hello! Say hello, YouTube world! This is Virtue. <laughs> hey, baby! And then y'all know I'm Sadie. So, today was a hard day because... Come on, Virtue! Come on! Um, we woke this morning to feed the kitties, and when I called the kitties, Nugget didn't come, and so... <sighs> Needless to say, we found Nugget on the road today, and we had to bury her this morning, and so, yeah, that was heartbreak. That was heartbreak today. It's never fun when you lose one of your pets. So, I wanted to show y'all this area. We, it's been a while since I YouTube, so that's why I was wanting to just give everybody an update. So, right here, where you can kind of see where it's a little bit shorter, is where we're preparing our garden for the spring we're gonna go ahead we actually like sprayed all of this to kill the grass and <laughs> yeah it didn't really like it still looks like it's alive and doing well but maybe it's taking a little bit longer to kill it i don't know so but we're about to um have it tilled and then we're gonna lay our um, hay and compost over it for the winter just to get it ready for spring. So we're excited about that. Um, and then we're also getting ready, we're about to start the greenhouse. And so we've had some delays, but in Jesus name, we're ready to get started. So now we are heading over to the big barn and you look at this, like before you couldn't even um, see it. You couldn't even go through that door right there that's at the front, but we've done a lot of um, cutting away the tree. I love you. And I mean, look at all that. See all those limbs over there that we got like a, whoop, sorry virtue. We have a lot of um, brush that we're fixing to start burning. So, but I love this little space. This is our little picnic area, a place of fellowship, a place to break bread. So, um, this space like really brought my vision, my dreams to life. Like it felt, it actually felt real, you know, like, okay, this is really happening. And so um, I envision this a place that women can come sit 
and their children can play and fellowship. So right here where this tree is, we're actually gonna make this whole little tree like a little playground area. So stay tuned for that. So back this way, come on Virtue, here she comes. Here she comes. Come on, girly. So back over here is the little barn, which we have made great progress. Like, <laughs> couldn't see this barn either. And we still have a long ways to go. This one's probably going to be one of our biggest projects because we're wanting to turn this into our outdoor kitchen. And so this is where we're going to have our backstreet burgers that people can come. And then it'll also be when we have our retreats where the meals will take place and the fellowship food and stuff like that. And so it's pretty neat. Like I said, a lot of work that we got to do here, but I'm excited, <laughs> super excited. It's hard work, you guys. So this is all of the, um, we've got a lot of brush, a lot of, you can tell we've been doing a lot of pruning, but as we've been doing this pruning, God has been doing um, a lot of pruning in us and so I see now that we've got done with the pruning as we begin to put these limbs in the fire I have a feeling that God's going to be putting us in the fire too and so yeah he's going to keep forging us that was a word virtue come on baby virtue come here come here Virtue! That was a word that God had given me. And so, yeah, forging. And that's never fun at all. So, this is where we buried our little nugget this morning. She's buried underneath this tree. So, right here is where we plan on building our two outdoor porches. I love in Joel where um, we're called to just weep in repentance between the porches and the altars. And so the porches will be screened in porches that people can come and retreat in. Here she comes. And so just two screened in porches. I would like each porch to be able to house at least 24, but if not, at least 12, if not 24. That's my prayer. And so, so right here would be the porches and then right over here between the barn and the porches we're going to have the altar a place um that we just go to just worship and give god our sacrifice our prayers our hearts and so um yeah i can i'm starting to see it now mainly i'm starting to believe like those that follow me know that <laughs> yeah i'm a dreamer and the devil's tried to stop me from dreaming but yeah I got his number. God's doing a work. He's done a great work in me. And so, yeah. Virtue. Come here, girl. She's a curious dog. That's for sure. Wow. It is. It sure is. It's going to look good black. It's a beautiful darling. Got a little spray paint. <laughs> you press your surfaces right. And this is the same paint that you'll shoot out of a gun. Yeah. How long did you sand it though? You sanded it really good. About three hours. Three hours of sanding. So you definitely want to sand. Sanding is part of the prepping. No fun, but it's part of it. It's part of Everything it. Everything in life is 95% preparation. Ooh, that's a good little nugget. That's true. I've met people like my brother paint, painting cars for a living at one time, right? Uh-huh. And you got people that would come in and they wanted to paint cars. And they didn't want to paint cars after they found out that they had to spend 40 hours on a car before they could ever pull a trigger with a gun. And then after you pull a trigger, it only takes about two hours to paint it. Hmm. 
Got only two hours of fun. Two hours of fun. 40 hours, 40 of, hours of, of manpower. Testing. Yeah. Does that number 40 means testing? No, well, because you do body work on a car and then you primer it, then you guide coat it and you sand it. And if the guide coat don't come out so clean, then you body work it again. You guide coat it. That's what God does to us too. Mm -hmm. Like God wants it. What was that? With that table right there, what I say? Like that table made it a hundred years before it failed, but it still failed. So I had to take it apart, clean every surface of glue off of it, and then put a modern glue, a, a good glue on it. And now that it's clamped together, it'll last for the rest of its life. It won't come apart. Yeah, it's starting. Before the glue, before the glue bond breaks. But we were, we were looking at it, how people try to band-aid it over the years. Like, add a little glue here, add a new screw here, and it just doesn't work. Sometimes you have to be completely... No, sometimes you just need to hit your knees and go to Jesus and give him everything, all of it. Until then, we see the true world. Yeah, but that's part of it. Like, you can't always just band aid stuff. You have to allow God to strip you to the very bare bones. That's what he's doing to us. Praise God. Yep. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And until next time, God bless.